All right, welcome back, everybody. Again, I'm your host, Toast Fratu. Joining me this time is Osmosis. First time in the booth, Osmosis. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for being here tonight. We've got a good one. It's going to be Nine Lives versus Bush Disciples. Nine Lives run by Team Captain Crazy Cat, his squad Zaps, Tempt Me Not, Ender, and I forget who his fifth is off the top of my head, honestly, but Raven is subbing in tonight for... I forget who is Nine Lives fifth. I want to have them go unrecognized. Cypher. And over there on the other side, Bush Disciples. We've got the full squad here tonight. Team Captain Kulik, uh, the latest addition to the moderator team with his cap or squad, Murasaki, Ozzy Ocelot, Pooped, and House. Now, personally, I'm really excited for this matchup. Uh, Oz and House were my two, like, stealth favorites going into this, so it's nice to see them on the same team. I'm really excited to see how they perform tonight. I have seen a little bit of House, but I have not seen Oz play at all. So this should be good. Um, let's take a quick look at the map bands for round one here. We're going to be playing on Li Zhang. Looks like Nine Lives bands Antarctica, Oasis, and Busan. And Bush Disciples banning Ilios and Nepal. Um, so without further ado, we're going to get into Oh, you know what? First things first, got to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. back everybody so osmosis tell me your thoughts have you played with a lot of these people on these teams yeah the first season i played um i was just on Kulik's team we got not the best season but last season he had the best he literally took the whole thing yep yeah Kulik was the uh season champ last season so i'm excited to see what he has how he has to sleep together this season yeah, absolutely. I mean, he came into the draft with the same kind of confidence on what he wanted. So we'll see see how it goes for him. I think, like I said, he's he's got two players that I think we should look out for. And Murasaki on support is not what I expected to see. Uh, the, the one clip I have of Murasaki is him playing Widow, and he is just blowing it away. He's got like four headshots in a row. So um, I'm kind of kind of excited to see this other side of him, and we'll see how it goes. Love to see the May come out. Uh, conveniently enough, actually, the May's probably by choice to counter Crazy Cat. They know he's a Ryan player, and they know May fucks up Ryan's shit. So let's mm. see how that works out. Um, only the only Five, boops on the teams four, though are from three, the Lucios. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see these rollouts. Let's see what they can do. Oh, Zap has a rollout down. Nobody chooses to go with the team. See, and so does Murasaki. We won't see any crazy boops off the start. Got to hold the point, not off the scope. Probably saw the May didn't want to get too aggressive. Yeah. He's forced into ice early. Oz goes down. Looking good for Blue here. Zaps gets the boop to finish him off. Despite the two counters out against the Rhine, it does a great job. Plays a lot more defensive than you expect to see out of Crazy Cat. Yeah, this is a different Crazy Cat. And he's got ult already. 30% 30 ahead of everybody else. 
They're just gonna keep running that that left side. They don't want to get involved with the Lucio. And this is the greatest cat we expect to see. We'll find at least more than that. He gets walled out. But he's got support. I think he's fine. Oh, he dropped the tank. Heavy not goes down in the process here, but I think they've got enough. Venom can't escape though. Oh, and Crazy Cat goes down too. Let's see. But the team's not done. Despite the res on Kula here. Blue cleans up. They don't even need a tank. Tries to get the timing on the charge. That would have been fantastic. Alts come out from both sides here. Flurry of alts. Maybe not can't hold on. Doing his best to hold on. Shatter doesn't find much, but it's enough. That's a strong performance on the crazy cat side. Absolutely. Zero to a hundred. No chance at a recontest. Just a little too much damage, I think, for that May to work. They're going to opt for the Bastion yeah. instead. Bastion and Junkrat. Kind of plan on destroying that shield. Yeah, they're just gonna melt it now. And Diva decent into Ryan. Can't block the shatters. Is the only downside. Free Reinhardt shatters. Basically a team fight one. But when you got a lot of mobility, it doesn't matter. But that's not really. We see the Bastion Ana. You get them two and one. That's basically a free fight right there. Genji. Must be pretty good. Genji will be good against Bastion. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely going to come down to how effectively Boot manages his third form. I'm wasting no time at all. Can't quite find value to him. That was a very risky play from Crazy Cat here, but I think it's going to work. House is out, overextended. He's going to drop. They're going to take this to the spawn door here. They're not going to stop there. Oh, no. He's back up. I thought they were going for Murasaki. Oz coming out with the Tracer. Oh, this could be big. If Oz can get behind, grab the Ana while Ryan's distracted here. All oh, but the sleep comes out on Bastion right when Ryan's most exposed. Does he finds Ana best? Out to follow here. Meanwhile, Oz is absolutely going to die in the middle of all that. Kulik's not done. Finds one on the way out. That was 
going in. 89 to. Crazy Cat goes down. find anything. Forces the Lucio back. Oh, the broken shield and bomb comes out. Finds Ender. Haunts it. Got someone. But the Katsune goes out. And they can. Oh, then they do. They have it. Even though they're losing that fight. And the uh, Luke's team couldn't quite get back on point in time. Yeah, they're definitely having trouble with Crazy Cat's Ryan. Yeah, I mean, this Ryan is definitely just oppressive. There's no way around that. And Zaps the Assassin, makes his way into the play of the game. Just got to send the recordings over. And we'll move on to the next one here. We are moving on to Havana. All right, first time we've seen Havana played this season. Could be Ryan. I don't know how you feel about Havana, but... I go back and forth. Sometimes, yeah. with, like, the wrong comp, you just can't push this first bit. Like, you just... Yeah. The oppression from up top, if you're, like, DPS, can't take this space. You're just... There's nothing you can do. Yeah, this first stretch is definitely one of the toughest. And I also say towards the end, on the bridge... Yes. That's yeah, tough as well. the spawn advantage to the defense is just so strong. Once you like start to make your way over that bridge, like unless you're getting picks rapid fire. Oh, we got Kulik on DPS now. All right, see, this is what I was hoping to see from Kulik's team. They've got a lot of characters that play different stuff, so this is exciting. Got Kulik on DPS, awesome tank. Was yeah. Poop DPS last match too? Uh, nope. Yeah, Poop was DPS last match. Murasaki was support. Yeah. So that's cool. We see it like almost a total roll swap from the teams. Crazy Cat's still on the Rhine. Mm -hmm. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Five, four, he figured it out. Three. Two, one. All right, let's see. So poke into brawl here. Ryan just goes for the early fire strike and just throws it back way off of the I was already so low. Looking for his way in here. Sigma doing a great 
great job keeping that in space isolated with the shield. He finds it. Hard close enough to play off. Finds one. And goes down. Oz in a kind of weird spot here. Venom goes down. They can't get over to protect him. Got the faulty wish. Oh, the crazy cat. Gets out. Behind you. Sniper spotted. Heads down. It's the house. Should help support Crazy Cat here so he can actually do a lot more. Oh, Crazy Cat gets behind Oz, he doesn't see him coming. See him rise up in there. Up in. House is winning the game for the enemy team. That's too long. And he finds Murasaki with the fire strike. Yeah, Crazy Cat's fully taking advantage of the power yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's twice he's gotten up to that high ground off the pedal. <laughs> and he's got shatter here. Oz has to be very careful. Oh, boy. Find one. We're going to find two with that. He kills himself. Big things from the defense. Not all, all sides. Not three. Guard. I was trying to get some value. Can't quite find anybody. Meanwhile, Cat's still behind. He's doing whatever he does. Venom goes down. All blues dropping. They get one of their own. Cat can't quite push up here. Gets the mega. They're not pushing point. There it goes. I mean, they got to keep the pressure up for sure. Just a little bit more. He needs to land like four bullets. Doesn't think he needs it. He might be right. Crazy cat's rid of one. Is he going to shut him down? No, he can't live through it. And Ender can't follow up either. Just Venom on point. Going to stall for a little bit here, but... Oh, Venom. We had no help. And Tempe Knot's going to end up far spawned here. This has got to go back. Oh, man, so many people are low all of a sudden. Oh, no. He's going to start dropping. Oh, he hits the wall in the oh, Get out. Almost gets one for his troubles. And this is a big issue for Blue. Yeah. And Kulik. Awesome. Get up to Kulik Ender. Kulik are just taking ground right now. Yeah, they've got all of this next point already. Thanks, Kulik. Right there behind him. Oh, he's, he ults right now. Not too close. Look at him. We oh, can't get the rock off. Oh, but they all made it to He had such a good moment. Cat so low. Working for him. kind of by himself. I was just kind of by himself. I was waiting for that charge to come out. But his whole team's dead. Oh, this is this is huge. He pulls the one away, and he can't get Kulik. He's just out of range. Cat's got nothing left. He's going to take one out with him. Reaper right there. Hiding. Reaper just hiding. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think he's getting out of this one. Maybe. TP's up. Oh, and the turret gets in the way of Kulik's missiles. Kulik holding a great angle right here. Blue 
shield off. Should be huge here. What can Blue do? The shield almost saves Blue. But it's not enough. Nana just gonna back up and regroup with the team. An incredible first point hold from Blue. And now they're just getting pushed back. This middle point is really tough for Reinhardt. Cat probably opted for the ideal strategy here. I think he can swap back now that he's got point two here. He can hold these corners. Those supports are isolated in this room. Oh, he goes in Matra. Interesting. He was getting really aggressive here. Just too quick. Nobody's playing up in the Venom's hands here. On the boss, as soon as he ulted, he got slept. Oh, really? I didn't even see that. Get into the room. Very dynamic push here. Oh. Knocked down from the ground at one by one. Three of them have all there going into this fight. Yeah, you see Reaper trying to get a sneaky ult back there. Yeah, they almost did. Oh, no. No shot, he gets pushed back immediately. Move of all out. Finds two. Oh, can't quite. Oh, does get two. And Venom's followed up on. And Kreese can't finally. Kreese gets team rather finally holds. With the Ramat roll. Yeah, that was the first and the last one. The toughest one. Switching sides. Initiating match. Convenient. All right, so we're going to head over to a technical difficulty screen. We seem to be having a lot of trouble tonight. We will be right back. Welcome back in, everybody. Hopefully, everyone's squared away. Yeah, so, I mean, I think Nine Lives did really everything they were supposed to. You know, they made they made some swaps when things weren't working out for them. And, you know, obviously, it didn't work out point two. Just Oz living up here as Sigma for so long. 
Really ended up hurting him. But, uh... Ready for battle. In the end, they managed to make it count. Back on the run. Into Ramatra. Oz knows what's up. He's gonna make his life a lot harder than he needs to be. Um, and both these DPS really can just melt that Rhine Shield for sure. Get some stickies on there. It drops quick. Yeah. Versaki opting to sit low. It's an interesting choice. Really can't. Nobody to back him up if he chooses to sit high ground. Nothing really to like punish any aggression from any flankers. But they don't know that they really only got Venom to do that. Although, actually, I take that back. Symmetric can teleport right up there. Oh, and there Murasaki goes sitting up top. Actually, the whole team's up here now. Three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Oh, it paused because of the DC? Yeah. Um, so that's two pauses. Uh, I think you only get two. So this is going to count. But, uh, yeah, for week two, we're going to have to change this because this, this is an invalid pause. I mean, this ruins the element of surprise for the offense here. You know, now the defense has time to actually kind of prepare. Yeah, come up with a contingency. Yep. And I guarantee you the the DC is because of the rapidly – increased level of activity on the screen you know, there's <laughs> Everybody 10 characters on top of each other yeah i wish i could kind of like step out of the pause and like look around i'm pretty sure the whole team is up there except for zaps yeah that must be because they're all low all right unpausing let's see how this plays out we're from the Kiriko's perspective here. Yeah, see, and I don't think that would have happened if we didn't get the pause. I'm with you. That's tough. That was a that was a real strong play. Zap still messing around. What? I have no idea. Zap's. I I'm watching that replay immediately. Murasaki's looking for him. He knows he's back here. Oh no, he's grabbing he's grabbing house. He's got up in their faces. And he just to take this space all by himself. That's very impressive. Oh, I was down here. Dodges the charge somehow, even though his movement speed is like 0.5 meters per second. Res can be massive. I can't 
quite make it. Just the supports now. Just house. Good movement, but just delays the inevitable. Kulik's not going to be enough. Zaps coming at both DPS here. Oh, this is that slow could be the end of him. Nope, Zap gets out. What a wild chain of events. Zap's really showing up today. I'm not even worried about him. I'm not even looking at him. Right in his face. Oh, two health. Can't quite manage. That's once again. Out here making it happen. Then I'm able to get away. I have no resources for this fight. Oh, what? oh, he's got his ult. I lied. Didn't even notice. Yes. Lucio B comes out. Yeah, he gets the charge, but he gets handled. And then he was just free to shoot eyes down that whole time. Up the road. I'm a man on a mission. Stay out of my way. Death blossom is ready. Defense gets shut down hard. Flanking. That was a really tough fight for us. I feel like they weren't really grouped up how they wanted to be. He ended up getting left out stranded here. Oh, this could be a huge. Only one goes down, but house is low and separated from the team. Oh, comes out of That blue wins the main fight. He's got up past the destination. Just stands there looking at Murasaki like he knows he has ult. So it doesn't matter how much he gets shot by him. Shatter, but he can't follow up on him. He gets first to death. But while they're turned on Venom in the spawn, the cart moves. And Zaps is in the back line. They can't contest. Venom's aggressive play wins nine lives. The game. So that's two over. We got one more to play. Uh, Push Disciples playing for points here. And we are moving to Blizzard World. First time we've seen this one as well so far this season. Not that that's difficult. We're in week one. I'm um, gonna send the recording over to Hose Machine. Shout out to Hose with the stats. And we are gonna send it on our way. Oh, didn't actually start. Love that it does that. Oh. <laughs> gives away everybody's picks. I wonder if the, like the minimum set at eleven or something like that. I don't know why it would be. Hidden. I even see hose messages. Yeah. Crazy Cat not getting Life Weaver this match. I'm sure changed their game plan up quite a bit. But Venom showing up on DPS.
Crazy play. Still on the run. His team's looking the same as the well. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's got all the supporting needs. He's got the the Reaper to kind of sit on his ass and just kind of help him apply pressure. He's got the Lucio to get him places. And the Ana to keep him up. Nano. Yeah, the Lucio Ryan is insane. He's swinging that hammer nonstop. Yeah, and Zaps is really following up on all the kills he, that get quite just like a little bit outside of Ryan's reach. Zaps saying hello to the enemy team. Hi, hello. <laughs> Yeah, this ready system was not ideal. We're gonna change that back. They got pooped on DPS now. Oh, poop back on DPS. Come on, Saki. There we go. Three, two, one. Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Let's put them on the side. Interesting. You'll see a lot of. Teams with Reinhardt's play high ground, but they're enabling Ender to get some early damage. And it can just kind of drop on him. Venom over there trying to look like Finds cool. Gets out. We have another wipe. Almost. Ana manages to get away, maybe. Ryan's not gonna make it easy. One health. Zaps doesn't go for it. A little too late. Oh, I was just stuck in the loading thing. I'll pause again. This is kind of more a technical thing. Oh, I'm probably not supposed to give this to him. Too dosing. But I'm gonna. There we go. Cool. I was gonna say I was Ana was only left, but I thought the count was only at three dead. They can't quite finish that up. Yeah, this is how I expect the Rhine to play. Stuff in their faces. And this is denying Oz from taking like the space he wants to. Because now he's forced into these close angles. Why not? Just push him back to his interest. Yeah, wait for the next push. Yeah, that's why I thought he would just push right past the Sigma Shield and into him. Finds poop with the fire strike. It immediately calls for the push. Get the red. Force the back. Great rock from Oz. Your power up. Get in there. The nano comes out. So does the sleep. He can't find any value. Oh, but he gets one. Jumps on house. He's gonna find him. Oh, and they're gonna take their time cleaning him up here. The nano goes down. Zaps is still doing damage in the back. Oz drops. He can't get the support he needs. Oh, but Oz gets rezzed. Okay, that's that's huge. Only three on this. Four. Ana just showed up. Just lets Oz getting real aggressive, trying to pick Tempe. Not getting down about that. And the dragon comes out. Almost splits the enemy. Tempe not so low. Well. Uh, almost finds two. Yeah, that's gonna push him way back. What a defense here. I think what they need to see is a switch. Yeah, and there it comes. Yeah. Doom and cast. And Lifeweaver. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, Ryan's almost got Ryan has shatter off the rip here. He just needs to look out. Yeah, that's gonna be Life Weaver. And McCree. They gotta just reset. Rufus. Honestly, this is a good play. Because if he can keep Ryan over here, the team actually has a chance to take him to the choke. Yeah, Zaps and Venom are trying to pinch him. But Ryan kind of gets wise to that move here. Taking out the turret's a big deal. Goes down. Get Venom. He's all ice But Oz can't hold on long enough for them to take it from him. That's going to be a strong hold. Alright, this is it. You want to. Yep, so they can. They're still playing for one point at this point. They can get a tie here. I believe if Nine Lives wins this, or even if they tie this. So at this point, it's, it's actually clinched for Nine Lives. They're gonna be in the lead going in to the end of week one. Looks unfair now. Fair mercy. That's actually a really good change. Uh, with the Torb, that was really the only thing they've been running that messes with the Farah. And he's got House on Mercy, so this this should be a good a good lineup here. There's not really much they can do. Let's see how the Somber does. That color scheme works perfect. Oh, yeah, it really is. It's going to depend on this somber. If you get a good hack off, you can actually take that high ground away. Sneaking up right now. It's already up there. I'm just going to go to point, probably. That looks like it. Almost gets a full tick before they contest. Yeah, the whole team. Oh, pushing the Mosh off. Out of the sky is a big deal. Ryan tries to take Murasaki. He dashes away. Oh, if they can take Tempe not here, they do. Great headshot. Oh, like so many people low. That's going to be it. Nine lives with the swift. Game three victory. Well played though to both teams. Can't help but wonder the extent to which the connection issues played into tonight's match. Up that's week one in the bag. This is a great play from Venom. Five piece. Got one last log to send over to Hose, and we can think about the final interview here. Let's send it to Venom. All right. So, who are you thinking? Who do you want to ah. pull in here, Chad? Who do you think? And Oz, who do you think? I'd say Crazy Town. You did work today. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, you chat agree with the crazy cat Paul I'm gonna say they agree actually wait there's a delay I'll give them a chance Abby online welcome in yeah let's get crazy cat in here move two seven oh hey 
Hello. Crazy Cat, congratulations. Team really showed thank up you, today. Thank you. We sure did, especially with being down at first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was fun. You know, um, Venom, I thought, did really well on DPS for somebody who said they uh, were going to play DPS again. They did, they did. Yeah, we just kind of rolled with what we had and just let them play what they were comfortable on. Absolutely, it worked, it worked out. out. I think Reaper uh, compliments Reinhardt really well. It yeah. does, yeah, so it was beneficial. Absolutely. Um, but I saw, I saw a lot, like off the start, you played a lot slower on the control maps that I'm used to seeing. Yeah, is that just kind of the uh, the nature of control maps themselves, or because I saw then again the aggression come back out on the um, on the push maps, or not the push, rather the uh, payload maps. Yeah, I was just kind of getting a feel for like what they were gonna play. Right. Um, especially when they're running Ramatra of May, it's kind of hard to run into them. So I was playing it slower to kind of. Farm Absolutely. shatter off with my fire strikes. Right. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, Ramatra's got a pretty long cooldown on his um, his shield, yeah. so you just kind of pick mm -hmm. that out for sure. Exactly. Yeah. That's interesting. And Zaps, I mean, did an incredible job today. Uh, he was really yeah. chasing down a lot of kills. He was he was acting like a Genji. And he was. Yeah. They didn't yeah. really have an answer for that. And I mean, it will be nice compliments their play styles definitely. I think so. Is that something you knew going into the season when you drafted him that he was a Lucio player? Yep. He was my uh, first pick. Yes, I remember in that regard. Uh, in the sense of, I had him in my mind the whole time to pick. Gotcha. Uh, just because of his Lucio gameplay. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the first time we've really gotten a chance to see him shine, where he his Lucio really complimented his team in the way it is now. And I mean, it's it's at a level above definitely where you know I think the mods thought he was at, which you know is a good thing. And we had him in the the top tier already. You know, exactly. Just yeah. I mean, his stats show that he's. He's insane. So it was definitely good to good to watch. Um, talk to me kind of about your strategy going into tonight. Was this kind of like a planned uh, like comp setup? Like how did how did uh, Venom we really kind of Venom kind of fit right in because Cipher kind of plays Reaper as well, or he'd play Bastion. Um, he kind of has doesn't have super big hero pool either. Gotcha. Um, I actually didn't know anything about Bush Disciples on who would play tank because they, as you saw, they kept switching mm -hmm. between them every map. So we kind of just went in with knowing we are going to play Reinhardt Brawl. And if stuff went, you know, Haywire, I had some stuff on my sleeves to pull out in case, um, as you saw, I swapped a Monkey and Ramatra towards the end of Havana. Yeah, but, that Ramatra switch, I think, was crucial. Ended up, yeah. you know, the, the Ramatra alt's just so good, and that ended up being That's the final just, yeah. nail in the coffin Ramatra's for him. Just too, yeah. But I just knew we had a really aggressive team with especially with Zaps and Lucio. So I like to, you know, try to take advantage of that tonight. And it just worked out in our favor. Definitely. Talk to me about uh, Havana, second point there. That was that was probably the toughest spot of the night for you guys. Um, what was kind of going through your brains? You know, on, on, attack defense, defense. on defense. Um, yeah, it's just the top we had kind of isn't, wasn't super great there. They just kind of had the advantage in that aspect, I'd say. And mm -hmm. we were kind of, staggering from first point a bit so we never were a full group of five kind of kind of why uh why we got rid of uh the reinhardt there i just noticed that we couldn't play as aggressive because they would like i'd go in and then our backline would die right sometimes so yeah they were second points always rough there they were definitely holding those like initial chokes really close and it, it didn't allow you guys yeah. to like spread out enough for like the ana to not be overexposed the whole time things like that so yeah i mean exactly, that's, that's yeah. kind of what we saw too and I think I think the Winston switch was definitely a good idea. It allowed you to take some extra space, but they just they yeah. really had the. They were still yeah they were they were really good on that second point. Mm -hmm. Really shut us down. Absolutely, but I mean the the comeback was was incredible. I mean the yeah. off the start was a bit of a struggle that uh, that pause the second you guys jumped up top there. You kind of broke uh, yeah. you broke House's PC with how much uh, shit yeah. was on the screen all of a sudden. But, and then uh, uh, we just died anyway. Yeah, so. I mean, I I can't help but think that's kind of uh, the element of surprise gone. Now all of a sudden they can yeah. contest a little bit more. So that's something that we're going to have to change going forward. That's not an intended feature, you know. Of, no, I figured it was a pause from a disconnect. Yeah, uh, which, you know, this is the first time we've we've implemented that. Um, I think there's benefits, certainly, but something we don't want is for exactly that to happen, where, like, a big yeah. play all of a sudden just gets completely neutralized. So that's something. Because then also, yeah, we had yeah. Zaps just go spawn camp them because they knew they were coming back to yeah, spawn. Yeah, and I saw that. Oh. That was crazy. Zaps was like hiding back there. Murasaki yeah. came back to try to like 
grab house because there was no other way to do it. Exactly, yeah. Cool. Um, so is there anything you want to say to the people in the chat? We still got 10 people here. Um, not much. Just uh, hope we all have a fun season, and I'm excited to play everybody. It'll be a fun time. Hell yeah. So with that, for some good competition. Yeah, this was definitely a close one. It was nice to see. And uh, so week two is coming up here. And we don't have a schedule yet, but keep an eye on the Bro League calendar. If you don't have access to that, exclamation point join will get you in the Discord. And with that, we will see you next time.